G'day, and welcome to the Random Yummy YouTube channel and the Random Yummy podcast. So tonight I deboned a couple of chicken thighs and then I roasted them and then had them with frozen vegetables which I'd cooked in the chicken juice. So I basically got a couple of what we call in Australia chicken merrylands, which is the thigh and the drumstick together. Broke them apart, cut through the joint between the drumstick and the rest of the thigh, and then gently dissected out the femur bone or the thigh bone from the thigh meat, and then spread that out. On the uh, flesh side of the thigh meat, I seasoned it with some iodized salt, some ground black pepper, some Italian dried herbs, uh, as well as some garlic powder. I then tied up the uh, chicken thighs by rolling them and using some cooking twine to uh, tie them up into little round uh, cylinders of chicken meat with the skin on the outside. I then got a baking tray, put the chicken thighs in there as well as the drumsticks and the femur bones just for good measure. I put that into an oven at 200 degrees Celsius for 45 minutes. At the end of the cooking I removed the baking tray and let the meat rest. At the same time I grabbed some frozen vegetables in the form of peas, black beans, capsicum and corn and just cook them by microwave radiation for about a minute or so and really they were just par cooking because what I did then was remove the chicken and the chicken bones from the baking tray. I put the drumsticks in a container for lunches, left the chicken bones in the uh, sorry put the chicken bones into the into a hot fry pan along with the uh, chicken juices and then strained off the frozen vegetables and put the frozen vegetables into a fry pan and then stirred it all through, cooked it until the liquid had reduced to nothing and until it had started to stick to the fry pan. I then turned off the fry pan, served the rolled chicken thighs with the cooked frozen vegetables that had been cooked in the uh, chicken juices and had that for dinner. It was a really nice tasty meal pretty easy to do, uh, very little to get involved with, and sure, deboning a chicken might sound like it's a bit difficult, but if you take a look at the video that accompanies the YouTube video, if you're just listening to the podcast, uh, and also go to the show notes at randomyummy.com, you'll see that it's not that hard to do, it's pretty easy, and even though I'm not the neatest, and there's probably a little bit of wastage, I actually put everything into the baking tray, cook it, and the little pieces of meat that are attached to the bone, I just chew off, and you know, what could be better than chewing meat off a bone? It's delicious. Anyway, hope you have a good night. If you've got any comments, please go to the show notes at randomyummy.com and please leave a message or leave a comment or a question or anything you like. Anyway, have a good night. Catch you later. Bye.